Hello everybody, today in this tutorial we are going to be learning about alternative data streams. Now alternative data streams are files that are hidden within a .txt file. Um, this can only be done using the Windows operating system. However, there are methods within uh, Kali Linux or Linux operating systems or Unix operating systems uh, that this can be done, and I'll go ahead and address that a little bit later. But today, we're going to stick with the basics, and we're going to go ahead and use the Windows operating system. So the very first thing that we want to do in order to hide a file within a text file is we want to pull up our command prompt. So go to your search bar in your Windows operating system, go to command prompt, and right click on it and run as administrator. Click yes when the pop-up comes up, and then you have your command prompt. So if you're unaware of what a text file is, and the data contained within, like how data contain, is contained within a text file, well, I highly recommend that you should not be actually studying any cybersecurity um, or hacking because then, well, you don't understand how an operating system works. But if you do understand simple text files and the data contained within them, then let's go ahead and move forward. So what we want to do is once we get into our command prompt, uh, you can change your directories if you're unfamiliar with your directories and how command line works. Uh, you can change your directories and put in the file path that is required in order to get to what I'm going to be using is my desktop. So that way each of you can see it happen right in front of our eyes. And then press enter and now I am within my desktop. Now I want to clear the screen so I have a clear uh, or I'm sorry a clean slate to work with. So you type in CLS to clear your screen and I would actually want to change the color a little bit too. So let's do that. Okay so now we got the cool hacker green command prompt and now what we are wanting to do is in cybersecurity and hacking and uh, inf information security or infosec there's a method using the NTFS method within Windows what is called alternative data stream so again this is where you hide secret information within a text file now I'm sure you can probably hide it within different file formats but the one that I'm showcasing today is within a text file so the things that can be hidden within this text file is anything from another text file to a uh, DLL or an EXE or executable file which means that in the background without people knowing unless they're also aware of alternative data streams uh, you could be running a virus or malware or spyware or um, some some sort of malicious content in the background and they would never even know because the content of the file uh, size does not actually change unless they specifically look up the alternative data stream within that file. So how do we accomplish this? Well first we want to type in notepad and then we need two different names. We need to name the file that is going to be seen by our target. So let's just say video game uh, dot text. Now granted if they have any sort of brain we all know that video games do not come in a dot txt file format but again this is just uh, for the sake of the tutorial. So we named our file uh, the file container uh, video game dot txt and then we need to name our background container virus.txt or if it's an executable and you have a bash script or shell script written to an executable file then we would change this dot text to dot exe but for now just to showcase uh, we're going to use dot txt and then what we want to do is we want to hit enter this is going to pull up our notepad file 
and the original file that we see here is called or I'm sorry is our background running container so do you want to create a new file hit yes and up here you can see that it's video game dot text colon virus now this is not what your targets gonna see but in the sake for the sake of creating the two files within one file it's going to show this to you so don't be alarmed by that so what we want to do is um, type in this is a virus comma you been tricked and then what we want to do is we want to save and then we're gonna exit out of this we're gonna slide our command prompt over here and you guys can see that it did in fact change it to my um, desktop now what I want to do in the command prompt is type in dir or directory and we can see that we have these files here and this video game dot text shows nothing running in the background uh, which again we named it virus dot text each of you can see that there is nothing running on our video game dot text it's just a text file on our desktop so I'm gonna go ahead and clear the screen and then we want to open this video game uh, notepad file and again you guys can see that hidden information was in fact not shown here because it's running in the background of video game dash notepad so what we want to do though is edit this this is a video game uh, I'm, I'm going to make it one word video game download thank you for your purchase please enjoy and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to save that so now within this uh, application this text file running on my desktop um, I the target only suspect that this is a video game that there is nothing actually running in the background now if I was a cybersecurity expert and it seemed a little bit suspicious I would definitely go ahead and check for uh, you know some sort of background running program okay so in then in the next following tutorial or a tutorial a bit later down the road I will go ahead and show each of you how to detect alternative data streams within uh, suspicious files that you download but thank you guys for watching hopefully this was something pretty cool that each of you had learned and I will see each of you in the next video